New character in Jedi Battle. Oh, no, no uh, bonus mission unlocked, though. Okay. I think Jedi Battle is strictly a two-player mode, though, so that doesn't really help me any. Because there's no one here with me. Because it's it's 5.28 in the morning. Captives of the Federation. The situation on Naboo has changed for the worse. Federation droids have overrun Theed and the people are starving. A plan to defeat the Federation has been set into motion and you have the most critical role. Work with the Naboo Resistance to launch an attack on the Federation droid ship. The leader of the Resistance, uh, blah, 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 whatever. Obi-Wan, our people report that our pilots... That's a big-ass moon. ...observatory at the top of the main tower. It's heavily guarded and can only be reached by the access bridge that extends from the waterfall side of the mountain. No one thought to build it with backup access? Free our pilots from their holding cells and escort them back to safety. If you do happen to be detected, be sure to take your cyanide capsule. Before they can raise the alarm. Oh no, we're doing another pretend stealth mission? Yeah. So we're going to act like this is a stealth mission, but it's actually a murder everyone before they can reach the alarm panel mission. Which frankly is my kind of stealth mission. Okay, so there's an alarm panel. Some droids right next to it. Some more droids over there. I I'm curious if there's just, like one of them that's designated to be the alarm goer or if any of them can. Because on the uh, first mission where we had the pseudo stealth, it seems like the, the thugs never went for the alarm. It was just the protocol droid. Fuck it, I'm going in. <laughs> yes. All too easy. Okay, so one of those had the yellow markings, it looked like. I think only one did. It's hard to tell in this low lighting. So I'm guessing it's probably the yellow ones that go for the alarm. Also, I'm very curious. So on that terrible section where Qui-Gon and I uh, dropped down on the, the Queen and her escort. Oh, he already saw me. He did say to turn off your lightsaber because it can... Oh, crap. I don't know if I got to him fast enough. He said to turn off your lightsaber because it might attract too much attention, like they can hear it. Was that just something he said for that scene, or is that actually true? Like in this sequence here. Oh, I can't ledge grab that. All right. In this sequence here, would running around with my lightsaber ignited, would that increase my odds of being detected? Or was that just total bullshit he said for that scene to sound like he knew what he was talking about? Ooh, there's a thingy in here. Excellent. Oh, yeah, and here we have the ugly rippling again. I don't know what the deal is there. It's just uh, an error in the specularity or what, but that sort of really blocky ring around there. It's just awful. And it is definitely actually rippling that reflection. It is cool it interacts with the reflections, but it's uh, otherwise iffy. Some levels the water looks great. Sometimes it doesn't. But I'll give him credit for the times it does look great. Okay. Ooh, I can move the camera while ledge grabbing. That's nice. I think we're in the clear. Ish. There is a panel here, though, which there wouldn't be if there weren't droids somewhere. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I don't know why force pushing that one didn't work. I did try. Oh, shit. Is there more than one panel? There's more than one panel. Yeah. I didn't realize there was a second. Okay, I can deal with reinforcements. So unlike the informant level, the mission doesn't end when you're seen. Die. Okay, is this an item? What is this? What am I looking at? That's a grenade. Excellent. Ooh, there's a sniper there. Two snipers there. It would seem there's not much of a consequence for being seen. Because you don't instantly fail the mission. You just get... Wait, that was an exit? Oh, I wanted to get up where the snipers were. I thought that went around. I thought that went around to them. A little more indication for when it's the exit of a level would be nice. I've always, very few games do it, but I've always liked it when games do a, you either have to press a button to leave the cell or like the name of where the area is pops up on screen. So you know it's an exit. I'm going to do that again because I want to get up where those snipers were. I want to say in Arx Fatalis, there's like an icon that pops up. Like just walking through does leave. But I want to say there's like an icon that pops up in the corner that it's like a door with an arrow. Oh, oops. I thought I could drop straight down there. Apparently I have to jump. Let's try that again. But yeah, there's like a little icon that tells you you're about to leave the, the cell. 
Oh, we've done that thing again where the controls die at the main menu. <sighs> Which means I need to get up and unplug it and replug it. Yep, that fixed it. So for some reason, quitting from the... Not from the pause menu, but from the continue menu. Like when you die and it asks if you want to continue. If you quit from there, it kicks you to the main menu and the controller doesn't work. And you have to unplug it, plug it back in, and then it works. So, you know, I'm 21 years late, but... Uh, I think I should file a bug report for that. There's one. Problem solved. Now I can dispose of them at my leisure. Okay. Now, I need to get up to... Ooh, I need to get up to that. Ooh, yourself. That's what I was looking for. Grab this Quinata as well. Glorious. Stop shooting me. Okay, there is something I can grab here. Oh, I can't jump. Ugh. Can't jump high enough to grab the next tier, so I guess I do have to go around? <sighs> oh, God. You know what? Tank controls are not conducive to this sort of thing. All right. <sighs> no, no, I got stuck on... Uh, couldn't jump forward there because I was like... I had friction against the curved wall. See, the problem here is that it's curved. If I give myself space from the wall to my left, then I'm just going to go, you know, wide, like straight here, and then miss the actual platform. But if I get tight to the wall, I just sort of snag on it because, of course, it's not smooth. There's like that angle there because the poly count is quite low. There we go. Okay. Now the next one. I'm going to get right up on the corner like I just did. Get right up on the tippy tip. There. There. Line up. Yes, yes. Perfect. Oh, and I can reach that. Sniper's taken care of. Got my own rifle. Now, I did notice there's also a little pathway I can go down here. Is there any reason to do so? Let's find out. I'm gonna look to my left for an alarm panel, because there's probably one there. Or not. Oh, there's one there. Yeah, let's just take that out of commission. There. They'll never know I was here. That's locked. Uh, hmm. I'm guessing there's no reason to come down here. Other than that health, I suppose. Just a very, um... blocky skybox. You can really see the JPEG compression on that one. See how it's all kind of blocky? Those aren't the pixels of resolution, because you'll note the stars. Some of the stars are actually smaller than some of those blocks. Which means that's not the resolution. Those aren't pixels. Those are blocking artifacts from compression. So, yeah, they compressed the hell out of that image. Okay, now I can leave. Already, I can see a squad of droids. I don't know if crouching makes any difference at all. Okay, the game's kind of pretending to have stealth here, so... I'm not sure to what degree logic applies, because the goal here is not... Uh, is not to go undetected. Oh, Jesus, that's turret. <laughs> That was a spectacular blunder. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna snipe that turret. I think that's him. Yes. Problem solved. Oh, that's another one I hear. Okay, am I outside your firing distance? Yes, I am. Die. We have that statue again. Apparently they were... Very proud of their polygonal boobies and uh, double-ended spear. Hmm, I wonder if I should jump over to that. Let's go over here first. Get him around the Jedi. Stay oh, Jesus. That's panel right there. They're going for it. I see it. Oh, my God, that hurt. No, stop it. Okay. That guy fires explosives, which I can't block. This makes me sad. Get him! No, no, slash him. I wanted to jump and slash him, goddammit. Okay. Now we know, uh, Jedi have no defense for rockets. So if you ever want to kill a Jedi, that's how you do it. Unless they're Kyle Katarn, because he's smart enough to push it back at you with the Force. Because Kyle Katarn is fucking awesome. Oh, hey, there's more ammo here. No. Oh, I can't shoot the panel itself. I sniped this asshole, though. Oh, I can. Two shots? Is that it? Is he gonna get back up? No, he's gone. 
All right, well, now we know how to deal with those. Shoot them from a distance, which, frankly, would be the correct solution to fighting anything. Makes the Jedi look really silly for using a sword in a world where projectile weapons exist. They sort of have the Final Fantasy problem there. Okay, so I see the thing over there. Ah, oh, but there's several... Ooh, several opportunities for me to die on the way there. Ooh, barely. Do mind. So I think I'm going to come up on the other side of that same courtyard. That was awkward. I ledge grabbed it from above. Not sure how that works. Here's another one of these gaps. I don't... I don't like these. Nothing there. Right. Although the waterfalls disappear if you view them at too steep an angle. Just like real life. Aha! And unfortunately, that's one of these assholes. Wow! So it takes two shots from the sniper rifle, but four hits with a lightsaber. That makes it seem even sillier that I'm using a sword. Although, to be fair, a lightsaber doesn't run out of ammo. Or does it? I mean, surely it can run out of power eventually? Obviously, they would have to have a power source. Some sort of battery? And theoretically, that won't last forever, right? I mean, I know we're never seen... We're never shown a lightsaber running out of power in the movies, but... Can that happen? Is that possible? Has anyone in any one of the bajillion of expanded universe things ever addressed that? Like, do they need to be recharged? Do you put a new power source in it every now and then? Or is the power source in it just so energy dense that it lasts, like, by practical definition forever? Or does it not matter? Because, you know, it's a fantasy movie, not a sci-fi movie. I'm guessing I go in here. Uh, no, it doesn't open. Uh, maybe it's this door. I didn't check this one. Hello, door. Let me in. I'm not sure. The door has rejected my advances. I guess let's go back this way? Can I jump up onto this bridge? I think that's too high. Oh, no, I can grab that. All right. You'd think I'd have learned by now that the ledge grab is functional. A little bit farther than it looks like it is. <laughs> Ooh, there's a sniper in the window. Oh, and some assassin droids. Defend yourself! Okay, this is, uh, not great. Don't like getting shot at while I'm trying to do this. Don't you dare kick me, prick. I just want to take out the fucker that's trying to shoot me. There. Although, now he's one of the ones that can take more than one shot. There we go. Little leg there, waiting for his death groan to load. There. Again, it, the targeting really falls apart if you're facing more than one enemy. Uh, <sighs> I was gonna say, other than that, the combat in the game is quite satisfying, but uh, the inconsistency of the ledge grab is not. Sometimes you magnetize like a foot and a half farther than your hands actually go, and other times your hands actually have to touch the ledge. One of the other guys, it can't be both. Let's get this fucker while I haven't been noticed yet. Defend yourself! So now we have these assholes. Shoot them before they come out. Yes! Okay, now I can deal with these guys alone. Okay, so this door doesn't open. Clearly I do have to go around. But it's... Oh, you fucker! I cammed off the hitbox. Uh, I was gonna say, clearly this jump is going to be frustrating. So I thought I'd get a little bit extra distance by jumping from the handrail instead of behind it. But uh, when I landed on the handrail, despite the fact I was pulling back on the stick, um, I slid. I actually cammed off the uh, edge of the hitbox. Which, since the engine considered me sliding, I couldn't move. Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> Okay, let's try this yet again. Okay, up on the hit. Oh, nope, I slid off. Apparently the bottom of my hitbox is round. Because I shouldn't be camming off of the hitbox of the rail here because it's obviously square. There, perfect. 
Oh god, no, you... Ah! You fuckers. I didn't realize there was a little lip I could grab there. And landing on it killed my parabolic arc, which meant I lost forward momentum. Because I didn't know it was there. Well, if that is there, can I just grab that and just, like, ledge grab along the outside? Let's try that instead. Yeah, platforming when you have tank controls and can't air steer is a bit of a waste of fucking time, isn't it? Oh yeah, you can just ledge grab that. Then why even put those platforms around the edge that make it look like I... Mm. You made it look like I'm supposed to jump platform to platform. <sighs> when you're really just supposed to do this. Which, though safer, is taking an agonizingly long time. We... Is there a... Okay, can I climb up here? Yes, there's a window here. Surround the garage. Kind of a nice, uh, nice building in here. It's kind of cool. We've been looking at, um, obviously the very cool tones, bluey tones outside from night. So you come in here and it's all these warm tones. It does make this interior feel nice and cozy, doesn't it? After having been used to the contrasting color. I'm assuming that breaks the fence? Yes, it does. Thank you, Jedi. You've got to help us get back to the Resistance fighters. We'll follow you, but we're going to hang back until the coast is clear. I hope by hang back you actually mean hang back, unlike the last idiot that told me they were going to wait and then didn't. And it kind of looks like that's what they're doing, because they're all running ahead anyway. Okay, are you actually going to stay here? The area ahead is still occupied by droids. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can hear them. Oh, and look. They're now in the line of fire, because they chose to came down, come downstairs instead of just staying the fuck up there. Squad leader, I've cleaned out all of the enemies in the next sector. Excellent, Obi-Wan. Now. Which means I should probably stay ahead of them, because I'm sure more, yeah? Bullshit, I blocked that. I don't understand the block mechanic. Sometimes it feels like it just decides not to work. And it's not just the timing, because one of the things that's inconsistent is that often the... Oh, they are actually staying out of the line of fire this time. Good job, guys. I'm going back to that full heal. It's, it's not just the timing, that I'm fucking up the timing that's making the block not work, because uh, there are times where I, I hit block, like, right at the point of impact, and I don't block, like I fucked up the timing. But then there's other times where I hit the block way early, and somehow it counts. So it's not that the window is very small, because sometimes I miss it by a lot, and it still counts as a block. And I don't know if it's just accidentally programmed to be inconsistent, or if that's by design. Like, is it designed to have a chance to fail? If so, why? And there are certain things you can't block, like the kick, for example. These guys sometimes do. The Federation reinforcements in the next sector have been eliminated. I'm not sure. Excellent, Obi-Wan. We're gonna move along now. Move along. Oh god, it's another launcher robot. Or no, it's just a guy throwing grenades. Okay. Oh, you fucker! Open fire! Clear out those droids so we can move to the next street. Yeah, you don't need to remind me what the objective is, dude. We've only done it twice so far. Your path through the next sector. No, it hasn't. I'm still getting shot at. It's incredibly ill-advised to add escort bullshit to this. And this guy was genuinely well hidden in here. As the sniper should be. The area ahead is still occupied by Lead your squadron up to the next sector. The coast is clear. Well done, Jedi. We're on our way to the next street. Okay, where are you going? They are not going through that door. All right. Fuckers better wait here. Good. I don't have any rifle ammo. Although there is a turret here. If 
Fuck yeah. I think there's still one back there, though. This other gun might have a better angle. Squad leader, the next sector is clear. Get moving. Man, he always sounds like he's choking on his own voice. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like it's, like it's kind of caught in the back of his throat, and he's, or like his sinuses are all plugged. It's, it's weird. He sounds kind of congested by his own terrible impression. It's not good. I mean, it's better than I could do, but that's not saying much. Clear out those droids so we can move to the next street. All right. Okay, so that's indeed an exit, as it was before. Backtracking? That's new. Oh, bullshit. He shot me before I even had control. I'm gonna wait for them to pass. And then I'm gonna beeline to the sniper. Except the lock-on didn't work, for some reason. Back off. I'm Okay, there's another sniper. You can't hide from me, fool. Except you totally can, but still. Your position would be betrayed as soon as you fired upon me, anyway. All battle droids in the next sector have been removed. Good job, Obi-Wan. We're uh -huh. moving ahead to the next courtyard. You know, we can skip these lines. The whole back and forth thing constantly is, uh... Well, it's getting old. Alright, you're heading this way. Hopefully you're gonna stop right about the top of these stairs. Yes, they are. Good. It's the Jedi! Defend yourself! <laughs> I'm not sure why they didn't shoot me, but I appreciate it. Squad leader, I've cleared the way to the resistance. Now's your chance to escape. Squad leader Naboo 1 requesting access to the south entrance. Asha, the Jedi has freed us. And just at the last second, boom, the whole bridge blows up. It was a trap all along. Thank you for rescuing our pilots. But we now have a bigger threat to deal with. Come with me. I'll tell you on the way. A bigger threat than the Trade Federation? Or just yet another iteration of the Trade Federation? I mean, I'm aware they're our enemy. Grounded. The pilots have been freed, but they cannot take off because of a large turbo laser cannon position near the hangar. The hangar is also heavily guarded, and it will require more time to gather resistance fighters to help take it back. The starfighters cannot be launched until that cannon is disabled. Alright, we've got our pilots back, but they can't take off unless we destroy the Federation turbo laser guarding the hangar. Yeah, I read the load screen. Where is it located? Near the hangar. The hangar. Good luck, Obi-Wan. I don't have a compass. South means nothing to me. Have you ever noticed how many games do that? They give you compass directions, like a character will say, Oh, it's to the west, but then, like, you don't have a compass. We have a door lock here. And interestingly, it actually makes a sound effect. Kind of a cool one, too. Which is actually synchronized with the, uh, light on it. It's a nice little detail. We have a statue here, which, uh, nicely is not the same one we've been seeing over and over, but... I'm not quite sure what it is. I mean, it's a... A, a dude chiseled out of a rock, but he looks like he's turning into stone because his lower body doesn't exist. It's still just the original rock. Is he emerging from stone, or is it just an incomplete sculpture? I'm not sure what effect they were going for there. But he has either gigantic ears or uh, Princess Leia-style buns. Can't quite tell which from here. Let's get a get better vantage point on that. Or is that a helmet? Those, like, wings on the side of a helmet? But they're attached lower down on his face. They're, like, mounted to the sides of his face rather than like up top on his hmm I don't like it it's confusing so I wanted to look at uh, that weird face above the um, cowfish ooh ooh that's genuinely unsettling so it, it, it hmm looks like they have no eyes like they've been scooped out but there's kind of like some streaks beneath the eyes like it's crying or maybe it's blood pouring from their eyes having been scooped out and then they either have Medusa-style snakes or really unkempt hair. I'm really sure what to make of that. It's not a very good decoration because it's kind of creepy. Roger, Roger. Jedi! Are we ever glad to see you? The droids are closing in on the resistance fighters all over the city. You've got to help save them. Well, why don't you save them? You look like you're kitted out. You have a, a 1950s-looking sci-fi blaster that 
looks completely out of place in Star Wars. You've got some pouches on your bandolier. I mean, that's important, right? And his face is overcome with the look of determination. Look at that face. I've never seen so much determination. And yet, we have to do all the work. Fascinating. Okay, so that person's gonna be executed, unless I'm quite fast. Is there another prisoner? I think it's just the one. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. There we go. I think I saved them. Oh my god, look at that facial hair. Look at the width on that beard. Look how, look how dense that beard is. It's magnificent. Also, note that his forehead kind of flares outward into his, his hair. Like, his, his forehead starts to go backwards, like, like a forehead does, but then it comes out again. Look at that. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh, well, my accuracy sucks. Okay, is this... Oh, I can just slash the emitter from here. Luckily, it's on my side. I saw something. <laughs> I was curious if that would work, and it did. Oh god, these things. <laughs> Don't kill him. I don't know why he didn't. He was had his gun right up to him. You're still alive? You're still alive. Are you lost, Jedi? I just saved your worthless butt. The only thing you can ask is if I'm lost. I want to see if I can get up on this kind of bridge overlook here. Oh, I can. I had plenty of time to shoot me while I was climbing, but it's beyond the very limited processing power of your... I was going to say, of, of their brain, but they don't really have brains, do they? They all follow commands from the central droid control ship, don't they? So why are they dumb? Ooh, I can fuck that up, though. <laughs> yeah, I wish there were more physics objects in this game, but I'm happy there's any here at all. Does this open? Oh, it does. Their death screams are fantastic. Thank goodness you're here, Jedi. Him rolling around like he thinks he's a badass. <laughs> oh, and it didn't save him. Okay, two heavy hits is enough to kill those. Good to know. Shoot me! Thank you. Okay, should I go that way or make sure I cleared out everyone here? Oh, okay, there's just a shield here. Alright. Some more satellites. Or satellite dishes, rather. Well, I'm jumping down in the water. That's closed off. And yeah, look at that, even the fountain dripping in. It makes proper ripples. And it only makes ripples when there's actually droplets hitting the water. Because it's intermittent. So there's not just a continuous ripple effect baked in there. It is responding to droplets actually hitting it. You can't swim backwards, I just realized. Oh my god, the room despawned. That's awkward. Oh. Well, that bush spontaneously generated birds. I saw something. You saw nothing. Wait there for me. That looks like an opening I could actually jump inside. Alright. Ooh, a full heal. And Granadas. This is fantastic. Health I don't need. Some sniper rifle ammo. Um, and I guess that's... Oh, hello, sir. I hope you enjoyed living, because it is most certainly over now. All right, so they have hostage. I don't know why I said that without an article. They have a hostage. Oh. If I could aim faster, this would be all right. Wheel it around town. Oh. Those ones are invincible, it would seem. Oh, whoa, that was awkward. Surround the Jedi. <laughs> hmm. Well, they got shot by a droid behind them, and it didn't seem to, to didn't seem to hurt them. I don't think there's friendly fire in this game. Don't let him get away. <laughs> Come on, I could do this all day. Yeah, yeah, that did it. And you're next. Goodbye. That's the price you pay for not noticing all of that commotion. Which was quite loud. Okay, I believe there's some health back here. I'm gonna go grab it. There's yet another Sokolov. Sure are a lot of them. Yeah, those guys are a little bit clunky. They hit like a freight train, but 
They can barely move. Once you close the distance, they really have no way of defending themselves. Especially because they can't fire their explosive attack once you're right on top of them, because it would just hurt themselves. So clearly they just stop firing. That door opens, so does this one. Oh, that's the end of the cell. Oh, I should have looked in there then. Damn it! There was probably a thing in there. You see what I mean about I wish I knew where the exit is? Oh well, it's not really a big deal. I've I've been missing plenty of collectibles. Let's go! He's gonna die. Oh no, he took cover. Look at that. No, no, stay in cover, you idiot. Here, you draw their fire. Or, or no, they can just shoot me. <laughs> oh, we lost another one. That scream is amazing. You're here, Jedi. We're having a little trouble with that repeater cannon. It's got us pinned down. You don't say. Get around it. Or we could just shoot him in the face with a gun. Okay, where is it? It's right at the top of the stairs. Looks like. I wish I could move with the rifle out, but I can't. No, even if I press the strafe button, I can't actually strafe. Oh man, that'd be sweet if I could. Because I could just like scope in right here, step out and shoot. There. Oh man. You know, you can bitch about exploding barrels being a silly video game concept, but it doesn't change the fact that it is an awful lot of fun to blow enemies up with explosive barrels. Oh, I do have an angle on him. Take it, bitch. Ooh, those float. <laughs> oh, they're so buoyant, they actually kind of launch themselves out of the water. Oh, springy. It's an impressive amount of buoyancy. Maybe it's just a cheap movie prop that's made out of styrofoam. Ooh. You sneaked up on me, a little prick. Need some grenades up here. I don't know why I'm collecting these when I really am not using them. It's more ammo. That's worth it, though. I am using that. That's the first door lock we've seen green. Although it still doesn't open. <laughs> oh, well you'd think green would mean unlocked. Does this open? Yes it does. What's up here? See, the level design here is getting a lot more inter intricate. It's not just totally linear. So add level design to the list of things that are inconsistent. Because this level design here is actually fairly interesting. I've, I've been really enjoying the stuff that takes place in Theed or just, you know, N Naboo City setting like this. These levels have been consistently great. But then that Trade Federation ship was really boring. Okay, so I could go over there. I could go. Does this open? Oh, it is green, but it's locked. Weird. Okay, so what was through this door then? Oh, there's some health. That's nice. Sniper. Ammo. Glorious. There's nothing up on top of the gazebo there. In fact, now that I say that, yeah, I haven't even gotten a single exploration thing on this level. And I guess this is just a dead end that goes nowhere. Oh, grenades. Almost dropped a crate on that poor guy. Although if I did, I could get away with it, because there are no witnesses here. <laughs> Yeah, the stairs animation is still fantastic. Particularly going backwards. Oh, look at that. <laughs> mm. Well, that didn't quite work. I meant to throw my lightsaber through them all at once, which would have worked, except it looked like it ran into the wall. Huh, look there. God, I hate it when doors in video games close automatically. I'm not sure the alarm panels even do anything on this level. No one's running for them. There's health there. If I could successfully jump to it, but... I don't think I could, and I'd have to go the long way around to get back if I do miss it. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. I'll give it one shot. Ooh, ooh. Got it. Surround the Jedi. Actually, you know, they say that? In this game, that's genuinely a good tactic. Considering we've well established that the uh, combat falls apart when I have enemies from both sides. It's almost like they know the lock-on system is kind of broken. More health. Excellent. Oh, I hear a turret. Oh, there it is. And of course, I couldn't have seen that because there's a tree in the way, but... As I've said in many games before, and I'm sure I will continue to say many years into the future, 
the AI can't see foliage. So he had a clear line of sight on me, even though there's a giant tree there. Stunning how common that is in games. I guess it's because the AI can only see geometry, and of course, a tree is made of textures, not geometry. I think I could actually... Oh, I can squeak a shot through there. Nice. Took a few tries. The uh, spread. That rifle actually has a fair amount of spread for being a sniper rifle. Although, then again, I guess Obi-Wan's probably not very experienced with a blaster, so maybe it's just his fault. That looks like an exit to me. Sort of a loading corridor. It is not... Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, well, I got one shot off, I think, before the door closed on me. Where is he? Well, I'll shoot that guy. Yeah. Did I actually kill the droidica with that one shot? I thought it moved away, but I don't see it. Yeah. More, oh, Jesus. More grenades. More turrets. Holy fuck. Open fire. Stop it. Bitch. Oh, my head on assault with the turret was more viable than I expected. I could just use the turret, couldn't I? You'd think you should, like, ID lock these or something so that only droids can use them. For exactly this reason. Okay, I want to snipe that guy over there. There we go. Who's shooting at me? Where are you? Don't give me this crap. Come out and face me. I don't know where that shot came from. I suppose it doesn't matter. I'll kill them eventually. I really should be using grenades more often. I'm getting so many of them, and they do. They do stun for quite some time. So they actually seem pretty effective. It's just, what disincentivizes me from doing it is how long it takes to pull one out. Gotta scroll, scroll, up. Now I have one out, and I can throw it at these guys. Taste grenade. Oh, and I just dropped it on myself. Now I need to, now I need to scroll back. Now I, no, pull the other lightsaber out, God damn it! Yeah. That is why I don't use grenades. Meanwhile, they got a whole bunch of free shots in while I was futzing about with the inventory. Because it is very badly designed. Spectacularly so, in fact. Just give me a goddamn grenade button. How about that? You know, like Halo? Goddamn Halo's genius. Yeah, so uh, let, me, let me explain what was happening there. Because I probably just looked like a complete idiot. So I scroll. You use the D-pad to scroll the grenades. You then press up on the D-pad to pull the grenade out. We've been over this. But... You then click the stick to throw the grenade, right? That's what I did. I thought then maybe tilting the stick in a direction pulls your lightsaber out because tilting the right stick is how you swing your lightsaber. So I thought, how about I have the grenade out. As you can see, it is in my hand. Click the stick to throw it and then flick the stick to go back to a lightsaber. I thought, hey, that'd work. No, it doesn't. Tilting the stick also throws a grenade. I then went, oh, okay, tilting the stick doesn't work. So I scrolled back to my lightsaber. And then with the lightsaber actually selected here, I tilted the stick again, thinking with the lightsaber actually selected, tilting the stick would ignite it. No, it does not. Even in this configuration here with the lightsaber selected, tilting the stick still throws a grenade. I actually have to press up on the D-pad to pull the lightsaber out. And now tilting the stick goes back to swinging it. So that's why I threw a bunch of grenades at myself there, in case you were wondering. Now I'm going to try throwing a grenade at this droidica, but... I don't know how to throw a grenade farther, because I just... I threw them all at myself. Oh, you have to... Oh, God. Okay, I get it. You have to hold the button to vary your throw distance. Oh, and the lock-on crapped out on me there. So I turned instead of strafing. You know what? Fuck the grenades. It's just not worth it. Especially when I keep getting shot while I'm trying to scroll back. Fuck the grenades, and fuck the inventory system, that's trash. A child could design that better. Yeah, so the way I thought it worked, which is what fucked me there, is you would think, if you've locked onto an enemy, throwing grenade would throw it at the locked on enemy. It does not. You still actually have to hold down the button to vary how far you're throwing it, even though you've locked onto an enemy. Which then means you just end up throwing it past the enemy, which is exactly what happened. Also, what really screwed me there, was that because there was a wall there, when I sidestepped to the wall, 
it broke my lock on and then reverted from strafing to tank controls and that just got me killed. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of bullshit happening there. Oh, yeah. That does work. Okay. Let's get this turret next. Also, there's a problem that you can't scroll the inventory very quickly. It has that sort of wipe animation as you move to the next item. You actually have to wait for that animation before it'll before you can scroll the next one. You can't just go, you know, right, right to go two items right. You have to right, wait, right, wait, right, wait. It's just, ugh. It would be trivial to design that inventory system better, and uh, somehow they still didn't. It's not like common sense didn't exist in 2001. Am I shooting the rock? Must be an erroneous hitbox there. Back off. There, yeah. Ooh, hey, I could, I could get the destroyer from here. Hmm, you think its shield couldn't take that much? Did I get it? I think I got it. Yes, it faded out. Excellent. Die, pot. There's a dude there. And a droid. I'll take care of that. Sure, I made that guy's day. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna give the grenades one more shot. Oh, I do have two separate grenades. Oh, I didn't realize that. Because I've only been scrolling one direction. Okay. So I have these. These are what I've been throwing. Those are apparently just an explosive. And these are the electricity icon. Those are the ion grenades. That's what I've been meaning to be throwing at the destroyer droids. I didn't realize I had two kinds. Okay, so now that I actually have ion grenades selected, let's try throwing that. Although, I need to throw upward, and I don't have a way of doing that. Can I throw a grenade while in look mode? Ooh, I can. And it does throw upward. I want to point out that these marks that indicate quantity in your inventory are actually animated. They flash and fade out when you consume one instead of simply disappearing on the next frame, which would have worked just fine. It's a very nice touch that somebody bothered to animate that when they definitely didn't need to. Oh, it worked. Scroll to lightsaber, pull it out. Okay. All right. Okay, that works. It's still fiddly as hell and fucking terrible, but it works. Oh my god, the bass hit on that. Oh, yeah. Wait, why is it still firing? Oh, now it stopped. Great job, Jedi. The turbo laser just... It should have jumped before it blew up. It's been destroyed. Valuable assistance. The Trade Federation is trying to take back the hangar. There are six entrances into the hangar. If you can cut the power to those doors, you can prevent the Federation from overrunning your position. Ooh, look at him wag his fingers, like pretending he's doing something. Obi-Wan, we have brought down the shield. Disable the power to the door. All right. Clearly, I cut that with a vertical chop. Let's go! We have another nice uh, change of color palette here. Ooh, Qui-Gon's here. Oh god, there's so much crap going on. Oh my god, this is a clusterfuck. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm, I'm gonna get this thing. Alright, that's one down, two down I mean. <laughs> I like that he made a uh, interaction gesture while he was doing his pain grunt. I guess that was the only animation they had for it. Okay, which one dropped? I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it's not this one. It's not that one. W where are the other ones? Well, I'm dead. I don't know where the thing I'm supposed to be cutting is. There's four out in the hangar, but there's six, meaning two of them are off to the sides somewhere, and I can't live long enough to go look, because the problem is, if I'm looking around, I have my back turned to the enemies, and I can't deflect shots from behind. Okay, here's one. Let's go. That was awkward. Forgot that lift was down at the start. So here's two. And then there's two more out there, which means... But those are 
five and six, so where are three and four? Oh, it's that thing. That, okay. Yep, they are off to the sides. Okay, that one's cut. Assuming, hopefully, this one will be next. Another shield has dropped. Cut the power to that door. No, it's not. It's apparently the other one. Yeah, this is one of those levels to just get better at each time as you figure out what order it wants you to be doing things. All right, take some explosive rods, except it didn't work at all because they just hit the wall. Holy fuck, I got annihilated. Yeah, way too many enemies firing explosives here. But now I know where to go. So it'll go better this time. Well, in theory. Let's go. Oh, I think I just pulled out my ally's gun. Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. Sorry, dude. Yeah, those take three hits. I swear those took two hits on the uh, first level we saw them. Alright, come on. Any minute now. Do it. Yes. Okay. Three. Assuming this one is next, although I could be wrong about that. Oh, he doesn't do it in the order you think. Okay. Which one is it? Of course, it's the one that's far away from me. And it's not the one next to the one I was previously at. It's, again... He's doing these in the worst possible order. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoever was responsible for dropping those shields, I want to know who you are because I want to kick your ass. You did that in the worst order possible. Just drop them all at once and I could just go get them all. It's like you idiots don't want to be saved. Oh, that was exciting. We're under attack. Someone help! Oh no, it's the bad guy. Oh, he looks kind of sad. He's got kind of droopy eyes. <laughs> Cut to black. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was a short level. Darth Maul, the Sith warrior has appeared to thwart your mission. A fierce battle through the Theed power core has led to a small power generator room. You and Master Qui-Gon have fought bravely, but you're separated from the melee. And now... You can only watch. Oh, so we're cutting to the um, interior part. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we don't get a fight in the cool exterior. Young, oh. Oh, very end, do you understand? <laughs> Master, no! No. Oh. And he even killed them while saying a Star Wars reference. That's so embarrassing. I'm gonna die horribly here, aren't I? I hope you are more challenging than your master. I'm somewhat disappointed in him. Only somewhat? Well, that's charitable. Ooh. I'm a little worried about this, I'm not gonna lie. Although, he doesn't appear to have all that much health. Which means I should look around first. Look at the shiny floors in here, though. This looks great. It's a nice looking room. Also, there appear to be items in here, and I jumped a little too far. I meant to do a short hop, but again, there's no air steering. Obviously, I knew there was a pit there because I've seen the movie. I meant to do a short hop and then kind of back up, but you can't back up post-jump. All right, let me, let me try that again. Short hop. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. There's a thing in here. I can just wail on him with infinite force. Endless heavy attacks. Although I lost a ton. Oh, he heals. Feel the power of the dark side. Fuck. Well, that explains why he doesn't have much health. Although he's referred to... Yeah, he doesn't have the double-bladed, so I guess they've, um... In the movie, Obi-Wan cuts it in half. So I guess when he refills his health, they just assume that happened. Damn it! You know what? Why is he allowed to push me, but I can't push him? It's almost like the dark side's better. Feel 
Oh, I'm feeling it. This is a good looking room, actually. Nice lighting. It's kind of it's kind of low-ish lighting, but with, you know, nice light lots of lots of nice bright light sources around. Nice shiny floor. It's contrasty. Ooh. Yeah, see, there's an issue with the attacks in this game and that they queue up. So if you actually flick the stick twice before your one attack lands, when your one attack lands, that second flick you did actually queues up and happens anyway. Win. He's awkwardly sliding back. Oh, when he... Oh. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, he didn't force push him in, in the movie. That was weird. He was already cut in half. Well, uh, roughly approximating the movie there. Master oh, hey, look. <laughs> there was the only appearance of Anakin in this game. <laughs> I will train this boy to honor you, to honor your name. His future is clouded, but I will guide his destiny. I will raise him to be the most powerful Jedi in the galaxy. I promise you. And then it will all go horribly wrong. Yeah, it's like the, it's like the writers realized they forgot to mention Anakin. So Obi-Wan just verbally explains Anakin's use in one quick scene. Now that's efficient. Game design, the Obi-Wan team. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't say. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Artificial intelligence, John Hancock. Now that's just badass. If that's his real name, which probably isn't. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Overall, I, I, I enjoyed the hell out of that. Uh, obviously, it's quite uh, narratively weak <laughs> because it, it, it's weird. From the back of the box, I was under the impression that there was going to be more of a its own story as opposed to just being a direct adaptation of the movie. And it kind of started out that way because we start prior to the movie. But from there on, it does just turn into a direct adaptation of the movie. Um, although skipping massive swaths <laughs> because Anakin wasn't so much as even mentioned until he appeared for four seconds at the end. And then, of course, we skip any scenes from the movie that Obi-Wan wasn't present for. Wow, Obi-Wan Kenobi was played by a McCloud? Which would make you think he should have a more convincing accent with that last name. Curious. Thanks to the Obi-Wan PC team. Oh, I didn't realize this had a PC version. Oh, so is this a port then? Larry the O. I've seen that name before. But where? So it, it, it's it's weird that it sort of, sort of made a stab at its own narrative and then just became an adaptation of the movie anyway. Um, I would have preferred it just kind of straight up did its own narrative and we didn't go into the, the, the Phantom Menace at all. It'd be cool if the whole thing took place prior to episode one. And it doesn't need to be a long ways because then you run into like timeline issues. But I mean, just like even just immediately before the movie, <laughs> because once you actually do get to the part where it's an adaptation of the movie, it's so cursory. It, it, it feels like sub cliffs notes even. It's so fast. It's just like this happens and then this happens, but like it just tells you that happened in the load screen. <laughs> yeah. Choose the force. Choose a job. Choose the dark side. Choose the council. Choose a flubbing big lightsaber. Choose protocol droids, hollow projectors and R2 units. Choose Watto, Tatooine and Alderaan. What the hell is happening? Interest credit payments to Sebulba. Choose a Karelian freighter that did the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Uh, Choose a Wookiee. Choose sitting in Jabba's it, throne room, it, watching mind-numbing dancers, it, stuffing green tubers into your mouth. Choose rotting away at the end of Is this a reference to something? Thin air, nothing more than an embarrassment to the whiny kid you trained on the way to Alderaan. <laughs> wow. Choose your destiny. Choose the Force. But why would I want to do a thing like that? I chose not to choose the dark side. I chose something else. I chose... Rapture. And the reasons? There are no reasons. Who needs reasons when you've got a lightsaber? Well, that last line explained the entire game, but what the hell was that? Was that intended to be a reference to something? Is there like a monologue from a movie where someone listed a bunch of stuff saying choose each line? Or is that like a reference to an old commercial or something? I feel like I missed something there. Um, <laughs> but okay. Anyway, um... As a, uh, a janky little quaint distraction, that was a great deal of fun. Um, I enjoyed the hell out of that. Narratively, it's barely a thing at all. It's kind of just a, uh, 
a collection of levels barely strung together with text on the load screens, but a really interesting unorthodox control scheme. I hate the tank controls, that's a problem. I hate that the lock-on kind of gives up regularly for various reasons that then revert you to tank controls that are very frustrating. But that notion of spinning the, of using the right stick to control the direction you swing your lightsaber, that's a cool idea and it works really well. If you could just polish the lock-on system so that it was more reliable or if there was a, a way to more directly control which enemy you were locking onto, or like a way to cycle through locked on targets while you were holding, like if you hold the lock on button and then had a way to cycle to next target. So you could like, you know, lock on, cycle, cycle, cycle to get to the one you wanted to. Or another thing that would help is if you had a preview of which enemy the lock on was gonna go to, because there were a lot of times I'd pull the right trigger to lock on and it would snap me to a different enemy than I thought I was going to. So some sort of arrow above the enemy that the lock-on would go to before you press it so that you kind of have a preview of which one it's going to snap you to, that would make a big difference. Um, a few small changes like that uh, would go a long way because the, the foundation of the actual combat system there is uh, genuinely effective and satisfying. So, Battle Royale. Prove your affinity with the Force in the ultimate test, sparring against eight other Jedi Masters. Ooh. But let's go ahead and do this. I'm curious if it's sequential or all at once. Because if it's all at once, I'm going to get my ass royally handed to me. Oh, it's all at once. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh, they're attacking each other as well. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was eight on one. Well, that changes everything. Oh, and the pause menu is not the usual one. So there's no challenges or medals for this one, apparently. I was going to see how many force uses I had to do. Oh my god, this is a clusterfuck. Okay, one down. Oh god. Conehead coming after me. Bullshit, I timed that right. See what I mean about the block? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Plo Koon. Ooh. It's just you and me, Mace. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I got him. Oh, and he was mid-swing, too. I only need my lightsaber. Yeah, we get it, bro. You like your lightsaber. You're turned on by it. I thought for sure I would get destroyed there. That was actually a lot of fun. All right. With that, um, I, I guess that's all she wrote. So, add that to the list of uh, games that got a very divisive, meh sort of reception that I ended up really enjoying. Man, you know what? I actually had enough fun with that. <laughs> I think I am going to go back through the game and uh, try to get all the medals. Because it's not a terribly long game either, so it really wouldn't take me that long to do that. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace. Smash your skull! Ah! Die, scum! Ah!